Um, so once you've created that value, how do you leverage it? Uh, for me, it's always about partnerships. Um, I have just written a book called Progressive Partnerships, The Future of Business. Uh, I've been accused of being lazy because if I can find a partner to do the work, I will always, always partner with someone else. Uh, in fact, um, I've done some work with Google, and that is their first question. They have their moonshot labs in Silicon Valley. The first question they ask when they innovate something is, who can we partner with that can make this work better? Now, if a company with the resources of Google still asks that question first, why isn't every business asking that question? Um, so one of the, the principles that, that I kick off in the book is this idea of the illusion of limited resource. We all have this idea that there's not enough customers, there's not enough good staff, there's not enough cash, there's not enough uh, whatever it is. And actually, I would argue, and Stefan's just made this point, is that it's an illusion. We live in a world of abundance. Whatever it is that you're lacking in your business right now, somebody somewhere in the world has woken up with an abundance of that, and if you can partner with them, the two of you can be stronger. The reason that I find a lot of people struggle with this idea is that everyone I talk to has got a history of failed partnerships behind them. Um, everyone's tried these, they've gone into good intent with good intentions, but the, the partnerships have failed. When I was uh, building my businesses years ago, I didn't have any resources, I had to use partnerships. I had the same experience, most of my partnerships failed. So I developed a model which assumed that partnerships will fail and you can still be successful as a result of it. Um, obviously, you can't be an author these days without having a five-step process or a seven-step. Uh, so I have to sit there with a thesaurus and come up with this. Um, let me give a very quick example of how this works. Uh, in uh, 10 years ago, I had a small business, again, running conferences and events like this. There was a property development company in our city that was spending a huge amount of money on marketing. We wanted some of that marketing budget in, in our pockets, but we had no vehicle for it. We didn't know anything about the property industry. So we decided to create a networking event for property professionals and try and get these guys to be the headline sponsor. Had we gone to them directly, they would have laughed us out of the building. So we had to use this progressive partnership model, which. Uh, um, is basically the idea that you do partnerships, but you leverage that partnership to do the next partnership, and you leverage that partnership to do the next partnership, and so on, which means that I even if any of these partnerships don't work out how you intend, you're still getting the value because you're moving up the ladder. Um, the way we did this is we did a quick search, and I was in uh, Bangkok, Thailand at the time. There were two property magazines that were available in Thailand at the time. One was really good, one wasn't, um, so we went to the one that wasn't very good, we phoned them up, and we were looking for a deal they couldn't say no to. So we phoned them up and we said, look, we're starting this property network, would you give us 30 back copies of your magazine that we can give away? Every magazine's got back copies that they want to get rid of. So they said, yeah, absolutely. Um, so we had our first media partner, and we had 30 rubbish magazines. Um, but at least we had some traction. We then took those magazines and we went to a pub, there's a reason for this. Um, went to a pub to read the magazines, uh, and we said to the, the bar owner, we said, look, we know this pub is normally very busy, but I've noticed on a Monday night, you're empty. We're gonna hold this networking event. Would you like us to bring 30 prop property professionals once a month on a Monday night? If it's a problem, we'd love to go to the bar opposite. And he said, oh, no, 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 that would be great. Uh, in fact, I'll give them a house pour. So everyone that comes in gets a free house pour. So, great. Um, our next step was we looked through, we saw who was advertising in those magazines, we found a real estate agency. We didn't have any people that were going to attend this event at this point, so we went to the real estate agency and we said, look, we'll give you a year's free sponsorship of this networking event. You'll get database, you'll get logo, you'll get banners, you get all that good stuff, and your 30 staff will each get tickets, free tickets to come along and they can bring one guest each. Uh, and at the end of that year, if you've had value, we'll sell you sponsorship for the following year. If you haven't had value, you can just walk away. Uh, very, very easy for them to say yes to. Actually, we didn't care whether they renewed at the end of the year. We just wanted to have those people coming in. So we kept bouncing up this ladder. We went to interior designers. We went to furniture. We went to any number of companies. Um, 
After about six weeks, we had a huge number of contracts, but we didn't have any money. Uh, and then we got the phone call we want, wanted. Henry, from the marketing manager from Raymond Land, phoned us up, and he said, for the last two weeks, every meeting I've gone into, your name has come up in relation to this networking event. How have I not heard about this? I said, oh, Henry, look, I'm really sorry. We've been very busy dealing with blah, blah, blah. And he cut me off. He said, how do we get involved? I said, there's only one sponsorship slot left, but I'll, s I'll send you the contract today. If you sign it, you can have naming rights for the year. Um, he signed the contract. We made about $50,000 pure profit on that. Um, and interesting, I, I end it with expand. And expand is just taking it up one level. One of the things that we had discovered in six weeks of meeting with everyone in the property industry was that we didn't actually like that many people in the property industry. No offense to anyone in the property industry. It's a different country. Um, and we didn't really want to one, run that event. So we had an event that had all the sponsors, we had all the people coming, we had media partners, we had now cash as well. Uh, so we just bundled that up and we sold that to somebody else that was in the industry and wanted to build their profile. Um, it's a very small example, but it's a, a great way to leverage partnerships through collaboration to build up. Uh, if you want it, it does sound overcomplicated, um, but that when you're a small business, you're under-resourced, it, it's useful to do that. Uh, you can buy the book on Amazon, but I'd recommend you just download a free sample from, from my website.